Welcome to episode two of Christian Hull Reacts to Terrible Taxidermy. Never been more excited. Uh, if you haven't, you should go and watch part one, where you can see me react to such amazing taxidermies as these. <laughs> It just looks like it's scared. Like it's like it just doesn't look. And the eyes are too. Okay. Look, it's great. Right, it's just the eyes. I think people really struggle with taxidermy. <laughs> 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 oh, what's wrong with its mouth? I mean, they've solved the eye problem by not even doing the eyes, just putting some sunglasses on it. But its mouth is too. It looks a bit vaginary. I feel like a lot of effort has been put into it. And again, the eyes. The eyes are just like coins with permanent marker on them. And why is it looking off to the side? Like, mmm, yummy. I'm going to eat that delicious fox I saw earlier. <laughs> Maybe that's why the cat was looking so scared because the dog looks like that. Did the dog die with its head outside the car window? Like the grumpy hedgehog, the grumpy hedgehog. That's just like a children's book. Also, who wants a taxidermied hedgehog? Unless you're using it to like get the dirt off your shoes and you put it on the floor and you rub your shoe on it. I don't know if this is a cat or a ferret. Mum, Snowball was run over by a car. I'm so sorry. But we had him taxidermied and you'd never even know. <laughs> this, is... <laughs> this looks like one of those photos taken at a nightclub and you weren't prepared. <laughs> like, this... this wolf slash dog slash deer needs to have like a cocktail in one hand and then it's just sort of turned and someone's taken a flash photo in a dark room. Ah, <laughs> oh, that is so brilliant. It's so happy and friendly. Again, the eyes are terrible and the mouth is awful, but for some reason, it's giving me friendly dog vibes, which it shouldn't because look at those teeth. <laughs> The eyes are excellent, excellent eyes. If you just sort of block the um, mouth, perfect taxidermy. What does this cat sound like? Like, excuse me, I would like to get fitted for some braces, please. <laughs> like that cat definitely sounds like this. It's, I would like some pats. I'm very soft and fluffy. <laughs> God, I mean, this is exactly what I wanted. Just a combination of animals that don't exist, especially the one with the the mouth for the asshole. <laughs> That's so amazing. Oh my god! <laughs> Why does it look stoned? <laughs> was nothing much to do in the Antarctic. It also has a striking resemblance to Falcor from, from the never ending story. <laughs> I mean, I like what they're trying to do and I feel like this looks like it's like out the front of some sort of shisha uh, cafe where it's like, come in and try our shisha. Hello, sir. <laughs> Hello, sir. Would you like to come in and try some shisha? We have delicious apple flavor. Like, <laughs> maybe the dog died while it was doing, you know, when they scratch their bum on the carpet, they stick their legs out like that. Because that's sort of, it's sort of wiping its ass with the world. Mm. Maybe this is some sort of symbolism with. <clears throat> The world being so shit right now that the dog is wiping its ass. Or is the dog pooping the world? Is the world just a big old bunch of dog shit? Which it kind of is at the moment. So this is actually a real <laughs> deep and meaningful artwork that um, should be... <laughs> I think it should be on display at the Tate Modern. 
Oh my god. Excellent taxidermy work from the cheetah. Oh. <laughs> oh, this is very disturbing. Oh, I can't even look at it. Oh, did they make the dog's penis piglet? <coughs> oh, this is, oh, and it's, oh, it's, oh, no, no, next. I've got to go to the next. Oh, God. Oh, it took me a while to wait. one way to um turn your child off ever wanting to eat candy again pez honey <laughs> it's a pez it's, it's a taxidermied pez does that not scream disease oh what is wrong with people